Hey guys, I'm going to try and retest the velocity of these 12 gauge Winchester 3 inch Magnum rifled slugs. I tried a chronograph test with these before and they all came in a lot less than we expected, but I believe it's just because my chronograph was messed up. So today we're going to try it again with my new chronograph and see if we get any better velocity. And I'm also going to shoot them out to 100 yards and see how accurate I can be with them. And this time we're also going to test the slugs through two different shotguns. First we're going to try the 18 inch barrel Winchester 1300 Defender. Then we're going to try my Mossberg 535 ATS with a 28 inch barrel. So let's see what kind of velocities we get between both guns and how accurate I can be at 100 yards. From last time when I tested the Federal 3 inch slugs, we saw that they all hit really high for some reason. So this time, instead of aiming directly for the red circle, I'm gonna aim for the bottom of the target. And by the way, the chronograph is about 15 feet from the muzzle. <laughs> wow, I guess I gotta hold on with both hands, huh? That first one came in at 15.49. Number two, 1686. That's a huge difference from the first shot, I don't know why. Maybe the barrel's warm now. And our third shot came in at 1663. I think that's more like what we expected when I originally tested these. So my new chronograph is definitely much better. But anyways, let's go see how accurate I was before we try the Mossberg. So once again, we have no hits on our target. And it's kind of hard to find out where they hit because there's so many holes from the last time I did tests. But I think I just found three fresh hits. We had one hit right here, one here, and one right here. So it was probably like 9 or 10 inches of spread from the farthest one here to over here. And just a couple inches high with this one up here. And the only problem is they went high again. My target's way down there and our hits landed right here. So it seems like they're a tiny bit to the left, maybe just a few inches this time, but still a little high. So maybe those Winchester slugs hit even higher than the Federal slugs, since they have higher velocity. So I guess with the Mossberg, I'll have to aim even lower. With those three shots, I was aiming right at the bottom of the paper. I guess with the Mossberg, I'll aim six inches or so lower. All right, now let's try the Mossberg. Wow, and our first shot came in at 1798. Number two, 1827. Wow, <laughs> that's awesome. And number three registered at 1785. I'm actually pretty impressed with that. The advertised velocity on the box is only 1760. So with my Mossberg, they're actually coming in faster than the advertised velocity. Now let's go see if I hit anything. Sweet, we actually got two hits on the paper this time. I'm not sure where the third shot went. I actually kind of think it was right here though. Yeah, that's got to be it. So our third shot was just a few inches to the left. It was probably about this high, but just a couple inches to the left right there. But our two shots that actually hit the target, like I said, I was aiming about right here. It was a kind of harder point of aim because it's invisible. I had to just imagine slightly lower than the target. But with doing that, we got a hit here and right here. Still nowhere near the center of our target. So if this was what I was actually trying to hit, we still didn't hit anything. But we got a lot closer this time than any other time with the slugs. And these two are probably spaced about nine inches apart from center of this one to the center of that one. So it's about nine inches by one inch. So from this test, we got way higher velocities with those slugs and I'm pretty happy with that. We even got higher than advertised velocity with the Mossberg. But anyways, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.